Today, students, we are doing part 3 of lesson 5 for standard 7, food safety. So, come along then. Let's continue with the lesson. This video was made just for you. Do remember to like, share and subscribe. National institutions. Now, what are they? Food and Drug Administration. So, this is a government organization that controls production and distribution of food and drugs. Drugs are all our medicines by their standardization. So, that is there is a quality test that goes on before it is sent for distribution. And Food Safety and Standardization Authority of India, in short, FSSAI, has been established as per the Food Safety and Standardization Act 2006. So, you can learn more about this particular uh, organization by visiting this following sites. Now, let's learn about food storage and preservation. So, we have learned about various methods of safe storage of food like freezing, drying, boiling, airtight packing, etc. Freezing is when we keep it in the refrigerators. Drying, we dry certain foods, isn't it? Like papads and some pickles and all that are dried. Then we boil our food and there are packed food where they are packed in airtight containers. So, all these are the various methods in which we can safely store our food. Now, these different methods prevent the growth of microorganisms in food. So, we know that microorganisms cannot attack if the food is stored in a proper manner and thereby save, save the food from spoiling. So, our food gets, you know, saved from getting spoiled. Now, Food protection and food preservation. What are they? Food protection means prevention of food spoilage by microbial growth. That is when microorganisms do not attack our food. That is infest our food. So, that is preventing, not allowing. Okay. So, that is called food protection. So, if the food is not attacked by microbial growth and infested by pest. Pests are small insects or small animals like rats and cockroaches. So, this is called food protection. Now, what is food preservation? Use of various preservatives. That is, we use certain preservatives. It could be organic preservatives or chemical preservatives which are safe for the food to prevent for a long period of time food spoilage due to internal factors is called food preservation. So, when we use these preservatives to prevent and for the food to remain, you know, good for a long time. So, this is called food preservation. Now, let's learn about the various methods of food protection. Now, first one is freezing. Biological and chemical reactions in food materials are slowed down at lower temperatures. So, temperatures which are very, very cold. So, therefore, we use freezing method. That is, we keep it in refrigerators. As a result, food remains in good condition for a longer duration. That is why refrigerators are used in kitchens. So, not only in our homes, but even there are big refrigerators where food has to be stored. So, this is one of the method that is freezing. Now, let's look at the second one. It is use of inert gas. Now, nitrogen gas is, is filled in airtight packets of food wafers. Do you know your uh, packets of food and kurkure and wafers and chips that you buy? They are, you know, puffed up, isn't it? They are like a balloon. So, when you open it out, you find hardly any chips in that. Not as, it's not filled with it. Why is that so? So that the potato chips or whatever it is, uh, is remains fresh. That is, it doesn't get soft or doesn't get spoiled. So, it is filled with nitrogen gas and other food products, thus preventing the growth of fungus and insects in them. So, this is how one of the way of protecting the food, um, that is, most of it is our snack items like food wafers are used by using inert gas that is nitrogen gas. Now, the third method is smoking. Now, food is preserved with the help of smoke that is 
aluminium phosphide is used in this method so you can use this method also they use it when food is used for a long time it has to be preserved for a long time so smoking method is used then we have use of preservatives that is we can use natural preservatives as well as chemical preservatives so what are natural preservatives some natural naturally available materials like salt sugar oil are used as preservatives in pickles jams murabba peta etc isn't it we make peta a lot of sugar is used in our pickles we use oil we use salt in jams again we use sugar and murabbas also we use sugar salt sometimes and oil is also used so all these are our natural preservatives so they help the food to remain for a long time then we have chemical preservatives so what are they acetic acid that is vinegar citric acid sodium benzoate and some nitrates and nitric salts are some examples of chemical preservatives they are used in sauces jellies jams and in packed ready to cook vegetables and ready to eat foods etc these preservatives keeps the food safe for a very long duration so all these chemicals are food safe that is they are safe for our body so all these foods um, preservatives chemical preservatives are used in our food to preserve it now the next method of preservation of food is use of insecticides that is melithian is sprayed on the gunny bags containing food grains so from outside it is sprayed so that the insects don't come and attack these bags then we have the irradiation the in this method food is exposed to ionization radiations such as high energy electrons emitted by accelerators x rays gamma rays emitted by radioactive isotopes etc now this in this process what happens exactly is this in this process destroys the microbes that is microorganisms so it destroys them when we pass the x rays gamma rays uh, to the food items the microbes get destroyed as well as it destroys insects etc so the shelf life of the fruits increases due to the increase in ripening period so what happens is the food can be stored that is mainly fruits we can keep it for a very long time so the shelf life of potatoes and onions increases due to slow down sprouting so it doesn't start getting you know food starts ripening it starts you know, uh, uh, the raw things start getting ripened so this process by this process uh, the, the whole process is slow down so they will ripen but in ripen after a long period of time then we have the pasteurization now in this method involves heating the milk and other similar food stuffs up to a certain temperature that is we heat the milk we heat the food stuffs for example milk at 80 degree celsius for 15 minutes and cooling it quickly so this will destroy all the microorganisms present in the milk and so we can preserve milk for a longer period of time and this destroys the microbes present in the milk and it keeps for a longer duration so now let's learn about lewis master so that is how he was the one to discover this process of pasteurization to preserve food the greatest scientist the microbiologist louis pasteur developed the technique of preserving the quality of food by raising its temperature to prevent microbial growth in food so he was the one to first find this procedure so therefore this whole procedure is named after him and the procedure is called pasteurization now do you know children in maharashtra irradiation plants have been installed at lasungao for onions and potatoes and at navi mumbai for spices and condiments now what are plants plants are big units or machines okay have been installed at lasungao lasungao is a very big market for onions and potatoes 
and even at navi mumbai so there is a big huge market where there are spices and condiments so these are our you know we have our lavang we have our elaichi we have our pepper so all these are called as spices and condiments so for that there are these plants installed at these two places in maharashtra do solve the exercise given to you at the end of the chapter and to check your answers and for more free worksheets you can visit our website at jkacademypro.com you'll get the link in the description box below do remember to like share and subscribe this was end of part 3 For a complete lesson do watch parts 1 2 3 and 4 I hope you enjoyed the video I'm sure you may also enjoy the following videos you'll get the link in the description box 